Hey guys, Dave Moore, iDaveMoore.com. Coming at you with a quick video today on a Glock mod that I just did. Nothing too fancy, but I saw a guy at the shop that I work at did it. So I figured, hey, that's a good idea. I'm going to go ahead and do it as well. Basically, a lot of you know, I removed the backstrap grooves from my Glock because I don't like the backstraps. I don't like the medium, I don't like the large, I like just a smaller backstrap that comes on the Gen 4 Glocks. But with that means that I get slide bite meaning that I can't add the beaver tail adapter and uh, just I have a scar on my hand from slide bite. So what this guy did was he just cut the beaver tail off of one of the back straps and then JB welded it onto the gun. So I figured that's a great idea. I'm going to go ahead and do that and I did. As you can see now I have the extended beaver tail on there but with no uh, medium or large back strap. And pretty much what I did was I cut the beaver tail out to shape, to the shape of the uh, uh, void there, and took the JB Weld epoxy, mixed it up, coated it in it, glued it on there, added some on the outside, and sanded it down. Uh, as you can tell, it's not exactly the prettiest job, but it's not the worst job either. Took a lot of sanding, and uh, I used a cotton wheel on a Dremel, and it's not perfect, but it looks good enough and it works great. So now I have the enhanced or extended beaver tail on there. No more slide bite and I don't have to deal with the larger back straps. So easy as that really, just cut it out with a Dremel, use JB Weld epoxy and uh, glue it on there. So time will tell if it stays or not. If it breaks off, then the worst that's gonna happen is I have to sand off all the extra that's on there and I'm back to square one. But I just kinda wanna talk about that real quick. The Beaver Tail Enhancement mod, if you will, uh, via JB Weld. Looks good so far. I like it. Keep shooting, guys.